Oh my gosh. All right, people. So the Mario movie trailer just dropped like about not that long ago, like about two or two hours ago, I believe. And that le it left me with a lot of emotions. Some of those emotions were not from the actual trailer itself, but from the direct. And if you're wondering why, you'll find out as soon as you finish watching this video. So yeah, the trailer just dropped, and I have a lot to say about it, so let's get into it. <sighs> oh gosh. So yeah, let me start off by saying that the movie, it looks phenomenal. I don't know if I've ever, ever I don't know if I've ever said that word on my channel before, but I said it now, so yeah. The that the movie just it just looks very well animated, I have to say. I mean it's from Illumination and they worked on a lot of animated movies like Minions, uh, I believe the Grinch movie, they worked on that one bunny movie Hop, I think that's what it was called. And yeah, I feel this movie might be pretty good, I mean, animation-wise, because it, it just looks very, like, the visuals just look stunning and all. It just looks pretty great to see. It's very great to the eyes of many. I mean, granted, Illumination didn't really make the best quality films. I mean, they did make very, they obviously were very well animated, but they were obviously not the best movies to watch. But it seems like they might go full 360, because... This Mario movie, it just looks, like, very great, I have to say. I mean, it's a very first time we're seeing, like, the trailer of it. I mean, last time we got, like, a poster where it showed Mario, like, looking at all of the, like, in the Mushroom Kingdom and stuff. Speaking of Mario, oh gosh, we got to hear his voice, like, in the movie, of course, by none other than this guy. And yeah, if you watched my live reaction to the movie, you can watch it. It's, there's a link in the description for it. But yeah, if you see my reaction, you would know that I had a lot to say there. For one, they made like a full Nintendo di Nintendo Direct for the trailer, even though it was like about 30 minutes long. I mean, I don't know if it was 30 minutes long as opposed to how a normal Nintendo Direct would be, but... Most of the direct was just the people talking, like Miyamoto, Chris Pratt, Jack Black, and that one dude, the Illumination guy. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't really feel like they should have made a full-on direct, because I thought it was going to be like a little bit longer as to how a proper Nintendo direct would have been. But it was only like a few minutes. Uh, most of it was just them talking, and at the end of it, they showed like a few minutes of the actual trailer itself. And while... While looking back at the trailer, it was it looked re very great. Kind of wish it was a bit longer though, but it was great. But I really wish the direct wasn't just them talking for the whole thing. But the trailer itself, I mean, I guess it was worth watching. I don't really know. Probably wasn't, but I feel they should have uploaded the trailer on its own and not just have us wait all that time just to see it. But yeah, let's talk more about the trailer. Because of course, other than Mario talking... We, of course, heard Bowser speaking, and he sounds pretty great. He sounds really accurate as to how, of course, Bowser sounds in the games. I mean, he never really spoke in the games besides Sunshine, but those cutscenes were just really weird. But Jack Black, I think he does a really great job as playing Bowser. I mean, I wasn't, like, too, like, shocked at the fact that Jack Black was playing Bowser because, I mean, this is the guy who played... Poe in Kung Fu Pan in the Kung Fu Panda movies, so I feel he could really pull off Bowser's voice. And of course, I did not stand corrected at all because he sounded great. I don't know if I would really expect that voice coming out of Bowser, but he just sounded like shocking, really. Like as soon as he said, "Open the gates," my I feel like my heart just stopped pounding for like a few seconds because I was like the whole time. And, of course, we also heard, like, Kamek or Magic Koopa or whatever you prefer to call his name. We also heard his voice. He sounded all right. And we also heard Toad talking. And I never. all I can say is I never expected to hear that voice from a Toad. I mean, I'm just so used to how they sounded in the Mario games. Like, <laughs> like they had that voice, but... That hearing them have like these normal kind of just normal ish voices kind of hits different for I don't better or worse I don't know. All right, we talked about Bowser and Toad and Kamek, but now it's time to talk about the real deal. 
Mario! So, how did Mario sound in the movie? Well, to say the least, he does not sound anything like he does in the games. I mean, I feel like I should have expected for him not to be sounding like he does in the games, because he's not being voiced by Charles Martinet, he's being voiced by Chris Pratt. And I just don't, I still can't, rep, even to this day, a year later, ever since they revealed the voice cast, I can't wrap my head around the fact that Chris Pratt is voicing Mario. Not just the voice, but Mario himself also looked weird. I mean, we uh, we kind of did see how he's, he was going to look like, because if you haven't heard, a McDonald's worker, I believe, actually le leaked the design for Mario. Like, they showed his face, and... He looked weird. I don't. I don't know. I mean, he kind of looked okay, kind of relatable to the games, but I don't know. He just looked really bizarre. I mean, just the just by the way he looked in the McDonald's promo, kind of reminded me of that one image that showed like of Mar realistic Mario. Like it showed. I don't like this image right here. I don't know if you guys remember it, but yeah, it was like this realistic Mario image looking thing. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. So they kind of try to make him look a bit too realistic. But I guess it kind of works in a way. So yeah, we got the design, but his voice, man. Chris Pratt, I don't know why. I mean, I'm not hating on Chris Pratt. I mean, he's a fine actor, but... Why in the hell did they get him to play as Mario? Like, out of all actors in this world, why Chris Pratt? I mean, I guess he sounded okay if Mario didn't have his iconic accent, or just if he didn't sound like how he did in the games, I guess he sounded fine there, but I don't know, he just sounds really off to me. It's not the Mario I know and love. I feel he didn't even try to sound like how Mario does in the games. I feel like he didn't even try to do the same voice that Charles does. Even though Mario is, of course, the star of the film, I feel this whole movie is going to be kind of a joke, but I feel it's going to be carried mostly by Jack Black because his Bowser voice is perfect. He nailed playing as Bowser. It was pretty good, actually. But Chris Pratt, I mean, after seeing the trailer, I still can't, I still just, I still can't believe Chris Pratt's playing Mario. And his voice, I mean, it doesn't sound bad. I'm not trying to sound mean, but I don't know. Me, me I'm a huge... Me being a huge Mario fan all these years, hearing just him not having his iconic voice with Charles Martinet and not being voiced by any, I mean, being voiced by someone else rather than Charles, I'm just, I'm still not used to it. I mean, Charles Martinet, he's still going to have, like, some involvement in the movie from what I heard. He's still going to, like, be a part of the movie. I mean, not probably not have, like, a voice or anything in the movie, but... He'll probably, like, be involved in some way, like, maybe with the writing and, like, the little secrets in the movie or whatever. I, I don't know. Also, this is, of course, kind of off-topic, but the mushrooms, like, when they when they showed Mario just hitting the mushrooms, like, when he came, those mu those mushrooms, they looked a lot like pillows and just barely like mushrooms because they, they looked a little foamy and stuff. They looked soft and just not really how mushrooms would actually feel like. I mean, just by looking at them, they they just look a lot like mushroom pillows, like something, because they just look so soft and not how I would assume how they they don't look how mushrooms would look if I assumed how they would look in a, in a Mario game. I mean, I'm of course a huge Mario fan. I already know how the mushrooms would look like. They got the eyes and the red and the white spots and stuff, but those just look like mushroom pillows or something. So yeah, what are my overall thoughts on the trailer? Um, it was great. I liked it. I mean, after a few hours of watching it, I was just blinded by rage. Like, if you saw how I, how I was reacting in the live stream, you would, of course, saw that I was very, like, very pissed off. And yes, I did say, uh, not, I did say I know a word in a video for the first time, because, yeah, that's how I felt. So, yeah, I mean, the trailer, it was fine. It was decent enough. I'm, I'm not gonna complain at all. I mean, I did, but... Eh, what am I going to do, really? I mean, Chris Pratt's Mario, literally the last thing I'd expect to see in this world, but here we are now. Also, at the end of the trailer, they did, they did show Luigi being chased by those dry bones, and I was like, okay, and what was the point of that? And we didn't even get to hear Charlie Day as Luigi, which I thought was kind of weird. I mean, we did hear how, like, some 
noises or grunts or something from him, but we didn't hear how he was actually going to sound. So, yeah, I just hope it, probably in the Game Awards or maybe sometime next year, I hope sometime later in the following months, we get like a new trailer which show, shows a little bit more about the movie itself. Because I feel the stuff they shown, they were like probably the basic stuff, like bowser trying to take over the kingdom and he got like the power star he was fighting against those penguins and stuff the mario 64 penguins and yeah we didn't really get to know much of what the movie was going to be about i mean it was obviously going to be based off like it was probably going to have like a basic plot like mario trying to stop bowser from taking over the mushroom kingdom and stuff so yeah i can't i probably we probably can't expect much from how the plot's going to be in the movie so yeah, I feel Jack Black with his Bowser voice, he's probably going to carry the whole movie while Mario's just going to just be there in the movie, just like to be the main character and stuff like that. But I don't, I just, ugh, I don't know, man. Will Mario's movie, will this new Mario movie top the two Sonic movies? Eh, maybe it could because... People like Mario more than Sonic. I love them both equally. They're, I played both their games a lot, and I still do. And they really mean a lot to me. But yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if this the Mario movie will be any better than the Sonic movies. It could be better than the first one, but the second one, eh, it, maybe. I mean, the, the Mario movie is kind of more accurate to the games. While Sonic movies, they actually kind of try to be like a part of the main franchise, but... It's still, they still could have used some work, but the Mario movie, it's really n noting the fact that it's based, based off a video game. So, yeah, final thoughts. The trailer, I, it was fine. I enjoyed it for what it was after, like, being blinded by rage for the past several minutes after that direct shown, if you guys saw how I was. So, yeah, the trailer, it was great. It was phenomenal. It was pretty enjoyable, and that's coming from a true Mario fan. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped for the movie, but I'm still really mixed on the whole Chris Pratt Mario situation. I'm still not used to that, and I don't know if I ever will get used to it, but yeah, it is what it is. Can't change it. What are we going to do? So yeah, those were my thoughts on the Mario trailer. Eh, it was fine. I, I, I loved it. I mean, maybe not. I didn't like fully love it, but I guess I'll say... I liked it. I mean, not love, not hate, just I liked it. It was fine enough. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the movie in the comments. You guys are probably really hyped for it. So, yeah, I just kind of wish they showed, like, a little bit more in the direct, and they didn't, like, I mean, it was obviously a trailer for the Comic-Con or whatever, but I wish they showed just a little bit more in the trailer and just not, like, that little bit of stuff. And I just wish the full direct wasn't just them talking and just actually showing what the movie itself I feel if they just showed the trailer, it would have been fine. There was no reason for them to make, like, this short, really short direct or whatever. So, yeah, those were my thoughts on the Mario movie trailer, and we'll just have to wait and see for more. I mean, I'm obviously going to see the movie on day one when it releases, just like how I did with the Sonic movies. So, yep, those were my thoughts, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating on it at all. I think it's going to be a phenomenal movie experience. I just hope it's not, like, too kid-friendly and actually knows when to get serious when it needs to. I mean, it's, of course, made by Illumination, the same people who made all of the Despicable Me and the Minion movies and stuff like that. And those movies, they were, I mean, they were fine, but they were just all really childish at times. So, yeah, this Mario movie, I feel it's going to be decent enough. I, I really hope it's great. I mean, eh. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with my with another video. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys, so I'll see you guys later. Chris Pratt. Chris freaking Pratt. <sighs>